the nuclear launch codes. If there was something you should never slap on your fridge next to grocery lists, it should be the nuclear launch codes. A piece of information so sensitive that it could be the key to world domination or global destruction. You probably already know that nuclear bombs are the most powerful and most destructive technology ever. Countries with these weapons tend to stash them away as their last resort, like that secret Yu-Gi-Oh card you keep hidden in your hand. Unless things get rough, and it usually takes multiple steps to launch those nukes, ensuring that no one accidentally pushes a red button that could instantly start a worldwide nuclear war. But these launch codes aren't just random numbers, instead they're a string of digits that not even the luckiest guy in the casino can hmm. guess in a million years. Only the president and a few military heads have the authority to use them, and not even these guys have these codes saved in their Apple passwords. Even if you're the president and you want to use the codes, there are several layers of authentication procedures you need to go through to eventually use these codes and finally pull the trigger. It's a slow and meticulous process that constantly asks you the question, are you really sure you want to nuke everyone? And that's why these codes are guarded tighter than Coca-Cola's secret recipe. Deep Web Hitman Services You probably have that neighbor with a nice car and a good house, but no one knows what he does for a living. Well, that guy could be a hitman who answers to anyone who can get his contact details through the deep web. Think of the deep web as the basement of the internet, where you can find the darkest stuff online. Google and other search engines are like the tip of the iceberg in the sense that they only show pages they want us to see. But the deep web is the submerged part of the iceberg. It's a secret part of the library you can only access if you ask the librarian. The content in the deep web isn't just about weird sites or long lost pictures of LeBron James getting dunked on by an unknown player. Instead, you could find unwanted surprises, such as hitman services. It's like Tinder, but instead of getting a date with a hot girl, you get one with a professional killer. Now you probably understand why no one wants this deep web information getting into the wrong hands. Hitmen are willing to take out anyone, from high profile celebrities to that annoying workmate, as long as it's for the right price. Information like hitman services can potentially cause chaos, especially when in the hands of an evil dictator wanting to take over the world. That's why this info is better locked away behind the vaults of the deep web. Operational details of nuclear facilities. Knowing the operational details of nuclear facilities isn't as simple as having an amusement park map, because instead of roller coasters and cotton candy, nuclear facilities contain sensitive information and technology that could potentially cause a doomsday scenario. Nuclear facilities are like the ultra-secure vaults of the energy world. They contain everything you need to know about how these massive powerhouses keep the atomic party going without turning the place into a giant glowing hazard. These operational details include everything from how the reactors are controlled to the specific security measures in place to prevent accidents or unauthorized access. If this information fell into the wrong hands, it would be like giving the blueprint of a bank's vault to a group of bank robbers. Except in this case, you're looking at potential meltdowns, explosions, and the release of harmful radiation that has zero chances of turning you into the Hulk, but a 100% chance of killing you. A terrorist group with detailed knowledge of a facility's operations could sabotage the system. Think of it as a prankster who got into a fireworks factory, but instead of blowing up a factory, this prankster could send an entire city to kingdom come and kill millions of people while causing hundreds of years of environmental damage. Just like you wouldn't want a villain getting their hands on a superhero gadget, you definitely don't want dangerous nuclear info being misused. Black Market Organ Trade Networks Imagine yourself in a swap meet where you literally swap meat. You're not exchanging action figures or Pokemon cards, but trading kidneys, livers, and other body parts. That's what the black market organ trade networks are about, and it's a place where you haggle, for haggling can mean life or death. The organ trade market may be useful to some extent, especially for those desperate enough to extend their lives or save a loved one who's about to flatline. But it's called a black market for a reason, and that's because it's illegal. When organ donations are done legally, strict rules and medical protocols ensure the safety of both the donor and recipient. On the black market, all of that goes out the window. The organs might not be properly tested for diseases, the surgeries could be performed in unsanitary conditions, and the people doing the surgeries might have just taken a YouTube crash course to learn how to get a kidney out. In short, the black market involves shady practices. Think of it as buying a discounted car from a suspicious seller who might have just borrowed the vehicle. It's extremely dangerous to know about this network, even if you 
you've drank too much and need a new liver quickly. The Black Market Organ Network is also tied with organized crime syndicates, known for kidnapping or exploiting vulnerable people to harvest their organs. That new heart you got could have been stolen from a thrill-seeking backpacker who got kidnapped in the middle of nowhere. That's why information about these networks has to stay hidden for the good of everyone. Government Surveillance Programs PRISM Uncle Sam always has his eyes on you because the U.S. government is like that nosy neighbor who likes peeking through his window to invade your privacy. He knows everything about you and the entire neighborhood, from the color of your underwear to the last meal you ate today. And you can thank government surveillance programs for making privacy a thing of the past. PRISM is the government's equivalent of this nosy neighbor. It's a surveillance program used by the National Security Agency, or NSA, to collect data on a global scale to keep an eye on possible terrorists and no good people. Think of it as a gigantic digital net, scooping up emails, phone calls, and internet activities like a fisherman catching a huge haul. Only instead of fish, he's collecting your private conversations. There's an entire system of servers that contain your private information. But a hacker working on 10 cans of Red Bull could potentially get into this system and gain access to your data. The danger lies in how this information can be used, because the potential for misuse is always there, such as using your private data to access your bank account. While PRISM aims to catch bad guys and keep us safe, it also raises questions about privacy. After all, no one likes the idea of their private moments being scrutinized like a reality show plotline. Blueprints for building explosive devices. If there was a piece of information that could potentially turn a quiet Sunday afternoon into a reenactment of World War II, it's the blueprints for building explosive devices. These blueprints aren't simple recipe books that could give you the best cookies in the world. Instead, they're chaotic instruction manuals capable of turning your house into a bonfire and transforming the entire neighborhood into the night sky during the 4th of July. That's why it's not easy to find instructions on how to turn your toaster into C4. These blueprints contain information on how to turn everyday objects, like a pipe, into a lethal explosive. Governments try to keep this information away from the public if someone decides to turn TNT into a science project. It's not just the physical danger, there's a legal side to this too. Creating, sharing, or even possessing these blueprints is a one-way ticket to the courthouse to face a jury whose homes you probably accidentally blew up during one of your experiments. And if this information falls into the wrong hands, you might want to start building underground bunkers, in case people start throwing around makeshift grenades like it was a game of hot potato. Bioweapons research data. Imagine you're in a lab with a whiteboard full of complex formulas, bubbling potions, and lab assistants cleaning your messes. You're all trying to find a way to make the next big bioweapon capable of wiping out entire cities with a single cough. That's the world of biological weapons research. Bioweapons research is a bit like baking, except instead of cakes, you're cooking up pathogens that could make everyone sneeze, cough, or feel unwell. Scientists work on everything from harmless bacteria to serious pathogens. The goal is to figure out how to neutralize or contain these things in case they decide to go on a world tour. Or if you're a mad scientist, your goal is to probably find the best possible way to make everyone cough their way to early graves. Security measures in bioweapons labs are tighter than KFC guarding the Colonel's 11 secret herbs and spices. You've got multiple levels of checks and balances because one slip up could be catastrophic. So while the data might be dangerous, the precautions are about as meticulous as a chef making sure hair doesn't get into his soup. In the wrong hands, this data could lead to a global security catastrophe, like an action movie where Dwayne The Rock Johnson goes on a mission to stop an international terrorist organization. Or it could usher in the next pandemic, forcing people to work on their TikTok dances in quarantine again. Cyber attack blueprints or exploit kits. The internet is already a shady place, but cyber attack blueprints or exploit kits can turn it into your dark playground, where you can take over the world from your mother's basement and as you sip through countless cans of Mountain Dew. These blueprints contain step-by-step -step instructions for how to exploit vulnerabilities in systems, create malware, or crash networks, kind of like telling someone to pull the fire alarm in school to cause chaos for everyone. The reason why these are dangerous is their ease of use. They include pre-packaged exploits that take advantage of known vulnerabilities in software, making it easy for even less skilled individuals to launch sophisticated sophisticated attacks. So even if you failed your computer classes at school, you can still break into a bank through the internet and make yourself a million dollars wealthier with just a few clicks on your keyboard. Exploit kits are continually updated. These kits are modified to include the latest exploits as soon as new vulnerabilities are discovered. Think of it as that cockroach returning after nuking it with bug spray. This means that even if a company has robust security measures, it can still be vulnerable if it hasn't patched a newly discovered flaw. Once these blueprints are out there, they can spread like wildfire wildfire, being shared across the internet's dark corners
encounters faster than a rumor at a high school. Any wannabe hacker with a grudge and an internet connection can use them to wreak havoc and hold your digital life for ransom. Names of undercover agents. You're in an underground drug cartel for years as an undercover agent trying to bring the drug trade down from the inside. But as soon as you come to work one day, everyone in the gang points their gun at you. You realize your cover is blown because someone leaked the names of every undercover agent in the world. It might be true that you only see these stories in the movies. Still, there are undercover agents everywhere, working secretly to gather crucial information, often in dangerous environments where their true identity must be kept under wraps. Whether it's the FBI, CIA, or MI6, these intelligence groups make sure to keep the identities of their agents as secret as the aliens hidden in Area 51. If you're a secret agent whose name is revealed, it's not just a bad day at the office, because it's potentially life-threatening. You're wearing a neon sign that says, I'm an agent, because you're probably working to infiltrate criminal organizations, terrorist groups, or other dangerous entities that would do anything to keep their activities hidden. If they find out who you are, they'd threaten to end you and your family. Access to these names is also like having the VIP pass to the spy world's backstage. Every criminal and terrorist organization would know where to find every undercover agent in the world. It's like the Joker and every other supervillain finding out that Bruce Wayne is Batman. But it's not just a fancy mansion that's at stake. Instead, the entire world could be in danger if every secret agent's name gets leaked out. Even if you're an undercover agent working for a rival channel, we'd still appreciate it if you'd subscribe to our channel and join our Discord. Locations of Doomsday Bunkers You see a nuclear mushroom cloud growing larger hundreds of miles away, so you decide to hide under your secret bunker that's supposed to have enough food to last 10 years. But instead of finding a shelter full of supplies, you find your neighbors throwing a party with all the food you kept there. Now you regret telling everyone the location of your doomsday bunker. Governments all over the world have doomsday bunkers designed for the most important leaders in case all hell breaks loose. But they are not designed to be evacuation centers. They're designed to be secretive, like the VIP lounges of disaster survival reserved for the most important people or those who've planned for the worst. If their locations become common knowledge, we might as well send out invitations for an end of the world gala where everyone can hide. Keeping the locations of doomsday bunkers a secret is not about the government being selfish, wanting to keep the common people out. Instead, these bunkers are also meant to be temporary headquarters so that the governments and militaries could still function during a crisis. If everyone knew about them, it would become a Black Friday sale where people scramble for the last few spaces, turning 50 years worth of food into leftovers in five days. Of course, if everyone knows where to find these bunkers, that would mean that terrorists, aliens, zombies, or whoever is responsible for the apocalypse can also find them, making this information a huge issue of security. Top Secret Military Operations You won't call a military operation top secret if everyone knows about it. Of course, it's kept hidden from the public because the details are so sensitive that the consequences could be disastrous if they got into the wrong hands. Let's say you're in a chess game, but the opponent knows every move you're about to make. It's not because he's a genius chess player, but it's more likely because someone told them your strategies before the game started. That's what happens if the details of a top secret operation are leaked. These secret operations usually involve advanced weaponry, covert strategies, and maybe even the occasional spy versus spy movie-like situation. The enemies, whether they're rival nations, terrorist organizations, or other hostile entities, would be able to counter the operation effectively, putting lives at risk. But it's not just about the immediate danger. Leaking such information can lead to a domino effect of problems. For example, if one operation is exposed, it can reveal bigger strategies, weakening the entire defense structure. It's like pulling on the thread of a sweater and watching the whole thing unravel until you're naked. Top secret military operations are also about international alliances and agreements. If information about your secret operation gets out, it could strain relationships and affect international cooperation. And the last thing you need is a friendship over situation between you and a neighboring country.